Hi guys, welcome to my video again. Again with a very serious and in important information to all of the medical students studying. Let it be in India, let it be in abroad. Yeah, this is a very important information that every medical student should know. I know students who are studying in fourth or third year also might not be knowing this information. Let's start. So in this video, I'm gonna cover four major topics. First thing is the basic requirement or recognitions a medical school should have. Second thing is how should you know that your medical school has these recognitions or no. Third thing is how these certifications or recognitions are important to you. Fourth thing is what should you be doing if your medical school is not listed or recognized. So these are the four important topics I'm gonna talk about in this video. I want you to watch this video till the end, take points and mark the point. If parents are watching this video, please send this to your son or daughter who is studying in medical school. If students are watching this video, send it to your juniors or seniors. And if anyone who is looking for MBBS abroad should also know this, what is the basic information before choosing your university. So yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment down your university down so that I can reply you that your university or the institute you're studying in is certified or recognized or no. I will surely reply. I'll I will surely reply your every comment. Please do comment. So let's start with the video. I am Mohammad Zabi, a third year medical student from Andijan State Medical Institute, Uzbekistan. So what are the basic requirements or recognitions a medical school should have? Everyone have this point, everyone have this question in their mind. Before choosing your university, you should know that your medical school should be recognized by World Health Organization. Okay, this is the first thing. Second thing, your medical institute or medical school should be listed in WDOMS website, which stands for World Directory of Medical Schools. Third thing, after your medical school is listed in WDOMS website, you should also search for certifications and accreditations, which are ECFMG accreditation and Medical Council of Canada certification. So what stands, uh, what ECFMG stands for is Elec uh, Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. Okay, so these are the basic requirements your medical school should have. The Your medical school which you are studying in or getting enrolled should have. Second thing, second important point which uh, is how should you know that your medical school is listed in these websites or no? Or is it certified or no? First things, first step would be go to WDOMS website. Okay, click on the search for medical schools, put your country name, then put your institution name, state name, and is it operational or no. And if your medical schools come and come down the column after hitting the search button, that means you're safe and your medical school is listed into the World Directory of Medical School. But your search should not stop here. <laughs> Next, you have to search for certifications or accreditations. For this, click on your institution which came out after, your, after hitting the search button. Then go to the sponsor notes. And if the sponsor notes column is filled with ECFMG and Medical Council of Canada, you need not worry, you are totally safe and the medical institution you are studying follows and comes under the guidelines of WFME, ECFMG or MCI, NMC, all these councils. Okay. And now, after knowing that your medical school comes under these recognitions, how are these certifications or recognitions are important to you? 
these certifications and accreditations matter to you because as a student i want to uh, get my medical degree or an international license from five major countries which are us uk canada new zealand and australia because the medical system and education here is completely out of a completely a different level right you know all this every medical student i'm talking to know that you have a dream to get into us or uk right yep so to get into countries like us or uk you need to pass entrance exams like usmle and plab and for exams like usmle and plab your medical school should have all these accreditations and certifications and then you can get a certification and then you can uh, apply for ecfmg certification and if your medical school doesn't have ecfmg which is going to be replaced by wfme soon in 2024 and if your medical school doesn't have the certifications it simply means you are not eligible to give exams like usmle or plab and your medical education journey will stop there this is to import this is important to note down that your degree should be valid in these countries also so that you can have international license and practice in countries in countries like this okay so now i told you how actually important these certifications are right so now comment down your institution or college name in the comment section there and i will tell you that you are eligible or no okay so the last thing i also wanted to tell you this there are there are two or more institution in uzbekistan which doesn't have the certifications and currently have at least 300 indian students studying there <coughs> see i'm literally focusing on only on students my top priority will always be students concerns will always be students problems my top priority is to make mbbs abroad easy to every foreign medical graduate studying out there let this be clear okay so i came up with i came up with this video to let you know that your college comes under these certifications or no or you are eligible to write usmle or plab like exams or no the college which does not fall under this certification is fargana medical institute of public health i'm really sorry to say to all the students studying in fargana that you are not eligible to write usmle or plab as of now because there's no certification as of now people may tell you that it may be certified it might be certified but as of now there's no certification which proves that you can write or you are eligible to give usmle or plab i know there are students who don't uh, who don't have need uh, or have just enrolled without need this is a very very big concern for all of the students who have not been need and want to go to us or uk to practice further ms or md programs so what should you do if your medical school is not listed here it's simple there is but i am giving you a solution so drop a message on my whatsapp this is my whatsapp number and drop a message on my whatsapp i will share you the solution and let's figure out what's the best for you and what's the best you can do right so yeah i hope this video was totally informative provided value i hope i didn't waste your time let's subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel i will be coming up with i will be coming up with videos like this in future so until next video Das Vidania I am Muhammad Zabi and I am logging off